in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mouse as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document choose a solid color with a solid color in place we are going to create a new layer cover soft arm brush so we are going to copy this as code. Then we hit OK. We are just going to click once. We are going to set the blend mode to color dodge. Create a new layer. Foreground is set to white. We click once. We are going to set the blend mode to soft light and reduce the opacity. Now let's grab our asset for this tutorial. We select these two and we are just going to copy them together. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert this to a smart object. Ctrl T to transform. With the layer in place, we are going to create a max. With the max selected, we are going to grab the gradient to set foreground to black. Then we are just going to drag this way to erase. We do the same for this layer. We convert that to a smart object, control T to transform. We mask it. Then we are just going to erase with the gradient tool. We grab the table now, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert to smart object. So we are just going to position it just this way, right here. With the control key, we are just going to select all these three layers and copy them together. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. We grab the eyes. And we are just going to position all these properly. Try to work on the whole composition. With this layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. We are going to grab the straw. Then we are just going to drop the layer. So we have it behind. Then we are just going to group all these layers by pressing Ctrl G. We are going to copy this layer. Right click and convert to a smart object. Ctrl T we transform. We are just going to drop it right here. We have it right here. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. With a soft arm brush, we are going to reduce opacity. Falcon is set to black. We are just going to paint over this portion, mask it up. Now we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We can bring the group back.
Now we are going to create a case adjustment layer right above all layers. We are going to reduce the opacity. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I, invert. With the subtrend brush, we are just going to right click and change the roundness a bit. We are going to take care of the opacity, set foreground white, and we are just going to be painting some shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to paint an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft brush, we are going to right click and set roundness back to normal. Foreground is set to white. Then we are going to be painting some shadows. So we do same for this layer, create an exposure adjustment layer, clip onto the layer, with the mask selected, control I to invert, with the soft hand brush, we are going to be painting some shadows. With the same technique, we are going to be painting some shadows. With the same technique, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip onto the layer. With the mask selected, we are going to invert it by pressing Ctrl R. Then with a the soft hand brush, we are going to be painting shadows or highlights. I'm going to speed all these parts so we save some time. So we are going to grab this layer, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, we position it right here. Then we are just going to drop the layer. With the layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to screen. Create a levels adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to create a case adjustment layer. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer with a mask selected. Control I to invert. Right click and set roundness back to normal. 
Paul Bell said to White, we are going to be painting some shadows. So we are going to grab the sun rays by click and convert to smart object control T to transform. With the layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to screen. We are going to create a levels adjustment layer, click onto the layer. We are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer, check colorize. We try to match the color just a bit. With the raised layer selected, we are going to create a mask with a mask selected. We are going to grab a soft time mask, increase opacity, set foreground to black. Then we are just going to erase. We are just going to erase this portion by painting. Now we are going to be creating contour shadows. So just right above the exposure adjustment layers on the table, we are going to create a new layer with a soft hand brush. We are going to change the roundness and we are going to be creating some contact shadows. So we create a new layer, then we click one. So we are just creating contour shadows. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, E to merge all layers. We right click and convert that to a smart object. Then we are going to apply camera roll. So filter, camera roll filter. All we are going to do is we are going to play with the settings right here. Once that is looking good, then we hit OK. This is before and after tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time. Stay creative.